Oh, play Warhammer 40,000 with Nogla and Vanos. It's three player with hordes. Um, maybe. I have a feeling. Is that an upcoming game? I have a weird feeling. Mark my words. I just have a weird feeling we might get a sponsored video for that. Um, maybe it's good. I don't know. It's just I've never played a Warhammer game. So I don't know what it even looks like. Like visually. And I know you could. I could just Google it now. I could just put it on YouTube. But then I'll get a f***ing copyright claim. I know it. I'm not doing it. I'm sick and tired of getting copyright claims for what? stuff someone mentions to me on stream. I'm like, oh, let me put it up on YouTube. We'll watch it. F***ing speed nearly f***ing ended my YouTube channel. Because we watched this f***ing stream. Stream suspended. Speed killed our boy. No way. No way. Did my YouTube... Did my YouTube stream get suspended? Oh my god, really? We're reacting to it. Because whatever company owns a shit, f*** them. Which, by the way, I want to give my take on, on that. I'm such a f***ing boomer, man. I'm such a boomer on this take. But well, I think Speed is a f***ing moron now, okay? Why did he jump over the cars? Like, why did he jump over the cars? Was it, like, was it someone bet him or he just one day wanted to jump over cars? Like, can, does anyone have any more context for me before I say my bit? Really speaking, because he can. Okay, so because he can, cliff farming. So there was, like, no bet or no nothing that, like, made him go, I'm going to prove this person wrong and I'm going to jump over this. It was literally just, I want to jump over cars today. So here's my old man opinion. I think he is a f***ing moron and should be punished by YouTube, which he is, for good reason. Like... I, I'm terrified. Now, I don't think I've heard anything yet, which is good, but I'm terrified people are now going to actually try and replicate it and jump over, and then it just takes one idiot to die because they saw some moron on the internet do it. You know? Not realizing he's very athletic and he can, if, you know, like, some people are like, oh, you're just jealous you can't jump over cars. That's, that's not the fucking point. You're, you're an influencer. Influencer. And you're going to influence other morons. And then it's going to take one person that's going to try. It's going to turn into this new trend of doing stupid stunts to grow. And then someone fucking dies. So I remember just thinking to myself, I was like, holy fuck. Now I'm just thinking people are actually going to go out there and try and do this shit. It's like so fucking stupid. But like so people are thinking, like, oh, I'm going to go out and do it. No, I'm telling you. Influencers, young fucking content creators, they're gonna see right. So this is the this is the pathway for me to get views is to do something like this. Cool. Someone's going to do something like this and die. Mark my words, it will happen. And when you when you're like a person in a very high position, when you're doing these stunts, people will copy it. Mr. Beast, a lot of people copied like the I guess the the ideology that he was doing of like you know these you know. Just the, the style of making videos and setting up these big production things. People are influenced. They'll do it because they see that as like the new trend. I'm going to do it. So if he starts jumping over cars, I guarantee you these brain dead IRL streamers are going to start jumping over bigger, bigger, more faster, more dangerous things until it goes wrong. So save the clip. Yeah, save the clip. Save the clip. I hope this clip never gets used. Never gets used. But knowing the world... And knowing social media and how desperate people are for success and being subs because they think it's the most in like most important thing in the world yes i know a little while ago i did promote subscribing to my <laughs> to my youtube channel but i'm not jumping over cars for you guys to subscribe <laughs> one i can't do it but it ain't worth your life and also the secondary thing is you're going to convince other people that they should do it too. You think that might be? Well, I think you're exaggerating, Brian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It only takes one. It only takes one. So yeah, the more I thought about it, I was like, God, what a f***ing idiotic thing to do. So he should be punished. 100%. I absolutely agree with him getting in trouble. He has a responsibility. I think there's a lot of ego in a lot of these uh, IRL streamers. And not much. I don't think he has the right people around him, realistically. I think it's important to have good advisors around you. But here's the thing. I think Aiden Ross told him not to do it. Now, I don't know if that was just to build up drama and hype about it. I don't know if he genuinely was looking out for him. But, uh, yeah, he, he seemed to, like, push him away. I don't know if that was fake or just for camera Back or whatever. Back in my day, but... we didn't jump over cars for attention. No, we held WWE matches in the backyard. Help! Oh, Hell yes. Some girl's number. 
Hell yes. I remember I fought my friend Ray. I was I gave him a crippler crossface. We had an Iron Man match. Apparently he won due to some fucking bullshit technicality thing. His friend was the referee. It was bullshit. I, I felt like Bret Hart. It was definitely uh, a Shawn Michaels Bret Hart fight. I got screwed. A screw job. It was bullshit. I couldn't believe it. the referee was so biased. Uh, but I remember I got my friend Ray in a crippler crossface. I fed him up. He did not see that one coming. Now, mind you, yeah, yeah it was Chris Benoit. So, uh, all right, relax. Thanks. He had a sick, he had a sick su submission move. 